Hello mate, how are you today? Hope you are being well. I also have no complaint. Today, I came with a very important topic that most of the UiPath developer have faced this challenge in their workspace and that is how to run a batch command in Linux environment. You may agree with me that most of the industry applications are deployed in the Linux environment. Let's say if you are working with any of the web application which is deployed in a Linux server then you may have to go there to start or stop the services like Tomcat or JBoss or you may have to go to the console application to start and stop any services from there. So when we perform this operation we need to log in into the putty session and then we connect to the Linux server to execute that command. Today I will tell you how you can perform such operation like starting and stopping of any services from Linux VM without using WinSCP or PuTTY application. Hope this will help you to automate your workflow in your workspaces. So before going into detail, I have a humble request to subscribe the channel as a token of appreciation. And don't also forget to set the bell button to all notifications. Thank you. Let's start. Now I will open main workflow and then I will drag a sequence. What I will do now, so I will mimic the same step if I would have uh, do the same thing manually. So instead of going to the PuTTY session, so I will just connect the VM to the SSH protocol. So let me show you how I can do this. So first we will press controller open the run and then we'll type cmd and we'll press enter so the command prompt will appear now here uh, we will write ssh and we'll give a space at the then we'll write username at the rate uh, your ip ip of that particular vm or linux machine and then we will just press enter then it will ask for password we'll give the password Okay, so the same step we will mimic through the UiPath Studio. Let be closed and then we will just uh, perform a uh, keyboard operation. So we will drag send key hotkey and there I will select the window key and we will write R. So the run comment from run uh, prompt will appear. Then I will give some delay of one second. So this will appear. Now I have to write the comment. So I am dragging uh, type into activity just after the send hotkey and indicate that portion where I will write the CMD. Let me just do it. Now I will just uh, write cmd within the text and then I will give a uh, enter operation hit k then enter within first bracket and closing the third bracket so that is ready now I will go to that and I will go up to that portion comment prompt will appear now uh, in the comment prompt I will write that SSH comment so to do this I am just dragging type into activity and will indicate that comment prompt okay and we will write the SSH comment so instead of giving the hard coded value we will just uh, store those values into some text file so let me create Free text file. First, I will create username at the rate IP, where I will provide the username at the rate IP of that particular VM. So, in that format, you should have to give username, then give it at the rate, and then provide your IP of that particular VM. Then, I will create another text 
So which I will store the password of that VM. And then I will create third text where I will write the location from where I have to go there and will run my batch file. So I am giving name as directory location and will provide the location of that Linux machines like slash home slash stp slash abc. So the location where you want to go to run that batch file just give that location over there. Now I will drag three read text file activity before that type into activity and from the browse section I will first identify the first text that is the username at the red IP and we'll store this within a variable let me create a variable and give a name like username and then I will do same thing for the second and I will identify the password and let me create another variable with name password and then I will identify that directory location and will store with another variable let's say directory location okay three variable I have created which will read data from the text file and in the first comment prompt I will just write SSH I will give a space within double quotes then I will give a plus sign and I will you pass the username where it will pass the username at the rate IP then I will just perform the enter operation so you have to write in that format just have a close look on this okay so let me correct it okay have to put within double quotes okay now that is ready so I will uh, perform the same task manually and we'll go to the password section so I will write SSH space username and then we'll provide at the rate and we'll write my IP of the VM machine and after writing this let me just complete then I will press enter okay so once I press enter it will ask for password so now I will again uh, drag the type into activity and then I will identify uh, the uh, command prompt and will pass the password within that so I will just pass the variable password that I just have created and after that I will perform the uh, enter operation through the keyword so I will write uh, within third bracket just k then, then within first bracket enter and then close the third bracket so that is ready so let me run the workflow and let's see what happened command prompt open and it will type the uh, IP and the password so it successfully logged into the machine right so I will perform the rest of the operation I will drag the type into activity and then I will indicate that portion where I will just pass my location from where, through, uh, from where I want to just run the batch comment so I will give the directory location variable so that just I created then I will perform the enter operation so it will go to that location and then I will try to run the batch comment so I will drag another type into activity and then you can run any batch command that you want so in this example I will just try to run the JPS-ML to check whether all service 
uh, that are required running or not so you can write anything that you want to run as a bash command so i will indicate that command prompt again and then in double quotes i will pass the bash command so like in this case i am passing gps minus ml you can pass anything that you want to perform so here after writing this i will write the enter operation so that after writing the command the bot should automatically press the enter now rerun the flow again and check uh, so it will go to the command prompt logged in successful then it type the gps minus ml command properly so this thing happened as expected so i hope that you understand how you can just log in to your vm without going to the putty session so that is very easy one thing you have thing you have to do like ssh com, uh, uh, command is not installed by default in windows machine so you may require to install the ssh command from the uh, internet if you have any trouble or problem let me know i will show you i will just uh, give the reply of your comment so hope this will clear the concept how you can use uh, uh, how, how you can automate your workflow in the linux environment without actually logging Uh, through the booty session so hope this will help you a lot and please don't forget to subscribe my channel i will come with a lot others video which will be helpful for you so goodbye guys thank you